Hey guys, Tony here with CCXRC, and today we're gonna get out of the studio and we're gonna go backpacking, and I'll show you why in just a second. All right, so here's what we've got. The new DJI Phantom 3 Professional. It came as a kit from B&H with this hard case shell here. We'll go ahead and we'll open it up and we'll show you guys what I got inside of here. I got a couple of extra little goodies. So there it is. The case works really, really well. Holds three batteries. The kit comes with two, but I knew that I would like to have three just from all the other. I've had the first, the second, and now this is the third iteration of this quadcopter. Pretty much everything about it, you know, for the most part, looks the same as far as the size and shaping. So we'll get it out here. We'll show you some of the parts. So I got the, the extra thrust propellers here with the blue tips, just because I thought the blue was cool. Um, three batteries, like I said, two came in the kit, purchased an extra one on top of that. So this case will hold quite a bit of stuff. You got your quadcopter, the props that came with it. Um, it'll hold three batteries. I've got over here, the Polar Pro, it's got a polarizer and two neutral density filters. So that'll come in handy because with these in bright sunlight, the shutter speed has to be really high or really fast uh, while you're flying and that ends up making the footage a little bit stuttery or jerky on pans and any fast motion. So that'll bring the shutter speed down and smooth out the footage a little bit. You've got here, this is the professional. The 4K camera, you can see it's still got the plastic on here, it hasn't been flown yet. But we're gonna get it out, we're gonna give it its first test flight. The camera looks really nice, uh, bigger than the other one. Uh, the three axis gimbal, it's got an SD card already in here. They give you a 16 gig card, we'll give that a test. Using that, the little lock here for the camera, we'll go ahead and take off because we're gonna take it up for a flight here in just a second. And the coolest new thing with these is this controller. It's much more substantial than the previous controller, even for the, the Phantom 2 Vision Plus um, with the record and picture buttons here, um, other dials. I have to look, you got your home button right here. So in case of an emergency, and then you've got a USB plug on the top and uh, a micro USB here. So. It, this now charges, um, it's got an internal battery, and so the charger, which I did not put in here, has a plug both for the battery and for the controller, so you can charge both of them at the same time. It'll hold your phone, and up to like an iPad mini size um, device, so this should be really great. And of course you get your manual. This one I thought did a lot better job talking about how to actually control and fly the quadcopter and what the different features are. Um, lays it all out. So uh, front and back of that, some warnings about flying safe. But uh, you know, that's it. We're gonna go ahead, we're gonna get the props on the copter here and we're gonna get it up in the air. I already downloaded their app and I'll have my phone ready. So you get two sets of props, I should point out. So there's eight props in here. Uh, in this nice little carry bag. So we're good to go. Looks like the camera's already crooked right from the get-go, so that's kind of interesting. We'll see if that works itself out here at all. So I'm gonna go right in here, we'll see what we're shooting. Image size, but we want video, your shutter speeds, take the EV down to zero. Auto manual, let's see what manual gives us. Oh, so we can choose our shutter and all that, which we would ideally like to do. So that's where these ND filters come in handy. So we're gonna stick one of these on there. So you actually have to unscrew the lens on the DJI, like so. And then you'll be able to screw on your ND filter. Safe to fly, gimbal overloaded. And a quick time out to come back in here to the studio because I found out what the gimbal mode error was that I was having. 
you see right in back here they put this foam block in it actually just you don't really see it when you get it um, but it says remove before flight and I forgot to remove that so that's what my gimbal error was so we'll get back up and we'll get flying so we can adjust the gimbal right here okay so there's a gimbal roll so we can level it right out right up in the settings so that is really cool all right well we're rolling so let's go cutting in and out the video feed more than i'd like On here, I can pull up the map and see exactly where we are on the map. You can still get my live preview of what we're looking at. So you can do map mode here, so you can see the satellite mode, see what it's actually looking at. And it's actually showing the direction that we're looking here in, on the, uh, the map. Okay. So if it shows we're looking in the neighborhood, if I turn it, you can see that little uh, gray line. It's also showing where we've flown. So you can see the H is for home, and you got the red arrow showing which way is front. Mm -hmm. And so, right now, if we come straight, we should come right home. Yeah, there's... We should come right over those trees. There it is. That is insane. They have really put a lot of technology into this guy. have it auto land with the tap of a button we'll slide this and it's got sensors here on the bottom these two little uh, circles and it's a sensor and here it goes hands free and there she goes landed itself super cool and right here you can just tap to make it take off oh yeah and there it goes all by itself All right, so it's warning me the battery's low, and I'm gonna put it down for landing here, hands-free again. Perfect landing. Way to go, DJI. This thing is really sick. Way, 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 mucho improvement over the Vision 2 Plus. All right, so here's just a quick couple of thoughts about the DJI Phantom 3 Professional after just the one flight with it today. Um, I've used the DJI Phantom 1, the two Vision Plus and now this. And the upgrade between this and the first one is just bounds. Even above the second one, the features that are found inside of this app and just with this controller itself, the controller, I, I just think it's magnificent. The weighting, it just feels less like a toy. I mean, it, there's some meat to this thing. 
Uh, all the controls for being able to tilt the gimbal or the camera, um, record without having to use the app, all that right here at your fingertips. Just awesome. Um, the quality of the camera is astounding. And as you can see, mine's darkened. What I have here is the Polar Pro. I showed it earlier. And this is a, an ND8 filter. So it's three stops of ND that I've got on the front of this for bright, sunny days to bring that shutter speed down and make the footage so that it's a little bit smoother. So that when you're uh, dealing with shutter speeds, the higher the shutter speed, the more you're going to get chop, especially with quicker movement or pans. And so that'll help make it the footage look a lot smoother. Um, but the app, I mean, I can't even begin to go into a full review on this yet after just one flight because there are so many features inside of the app on the phone to go through. Being able to see the map view of where you are, where you've been, uh, what direction you're pointing. So if you don't have visual for some reason, you can look at the map and see which direction it's pointing and point it back towards your home base and start flying it back. Insanely cool. What else? The ability to control the gimbal. If it's just kind of a little bit out of whack, you can go in and you can fine tune the levelness of the camera so that you get a nice horizon line. Um, you know, I, I, there's so many features in it that I'm going to have to just keep pouring over and going through. But I can tell you that this thing is really, really cool. It flies fantastic. It felt faster, snappier. I'm sure some of it has to do with the new improved batteries. It's just getting more power to these motors. Um, but it's just a joy to fly it. And again, just another solid product. Um, they just keep upping the game with their products at DJI. So really excited about flying this and the footage that it's going to capture. And one of the cool things is that with this kit, having the ability to carry it all in this nice little backpack here. I mean, this thing is pretty slick. Let me just pack it up as we close here. Um, but everything fits just in here so nicely. Everything's snug. Um, it has a place. Uh, you can even get your charger. It tucks in right here. I've got extra props. We'll go ahead and just stick the quadcopter in like so. Tuck these under the antennas, snap it up, and we'll close it up. It's just a really cool kit. It's amazing the type of footage that you can get for, this kit I think runs $1,500. I had another battery to this kit just so you had to have some more flight time. Um, but you, it can go anywhere with you. The backpack makes it super portable. All for about 1500 bucks. Well, you used to have to rent helicopters to get footage like this. Now you can go up as many times as you want for the single one-time purchase price of one of these. And you don't have to get the professional version if you don't need the 4K footage. I want the ability to zoom in and crop on the footage. Um, so 4K was huge. Uh, as well as going into 4K production, this thing will, for me, have a longer lifespan. But you can get the other one starting at like 700 bucks for the... Uh, the tier one, uh, then you can get the advanced. I think it's like nine hundred or thousand dollars, and then this is twelve hundred dollars stock without all the extra bonus kit and case. And if you get the extra battery in the case, you get a savings and you get it all in for about fifteen hundred bucks. But really solid stuff from DJI. Thanks for watching, guys, and be sure to check back for more RC videos.